The next unplug lesson in course two is called Real Life Algorithms Paper Airplane. You may be able to make the connection between this and the real life algorithms in course one, but we don't expect necessarily that you will have done both. In fact, the real life algorithms for course two is very, very similar to the real life algorithms for course one. The reason behind it is the same. We want students to understand that algorithms are just a list of steps that you can take to complete a task and that that's something that you do every day, whether it be lining up for recess, brushing your teeth, putting on your shoes. In this one, we happen to be making paper airplanes. So much the same as with the planting a seed lesson, you'll have nine instructions and the students will have to figure out which of those instructions is not necessary to make a paper airplane. Then they will cut those out, they will discard or recycle the three that they do not need and then they'll put the remaining six on a blank piece of paper in order to provide an algorithm for making a paper airplane. They can then exchange it with a classmate or you can just let them go off their own algorithm and they will follow it and actually make paper airplanes. After that, you can take them outside and fly them around, uh, incorporate it into another lesson on aerodynamics, whatever you want to do with that lesson once it's completed. We have heard some concerns that in young classrooms, there is the potential for injury with paper airplanes. And we found that if you blunt the edge of the airplane, either by folding it in, cutting it off and taping it, however that might be, that not only does it not fly as far and as fast, it's a lot less likely to injure somebody. So if that concerns you, you can just take the extra step before you let them fly their plane and just go ahead and blunt that edge. No matter what you're doing with our lessons, feel free to modify them in a way that works best for your classroom.